Welcome back to The Last Word with me, Justice Malala. What is the future of Nelson Mandela Bay? At some point in the past five years, the metro went without a mayor for a year as coalitions led by the DA were collapsed by the numerous coalition partners it had cobbled together in the council. Mkwiseli Kustajek was a famous anti-apartheid activist in the 1980s and an ANC member of long standing. He went into business and is now challenging the big political parties for the leadership of Nelson Mandela Bay under the banner of the new party, Avantu Integrity Movement. Mkwiseli Jack joins me now. Mkwiseli Jack, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for making the time. Let me ask you, you've been an anti-apartheid activist. You were in the UDF. You went into business. You've been very successful in your life. You've written a book. Why did you decide to run? Well, it's because... Uh... If I don't get involved now, I'll join the others and I will regret it, the fact that I never said anything or did anything when I could have done something or at least I could have shouted. And I feel like I am attempting to redirect the discourse in Nelson Mandela and to make sure that at least the people can hear the alternative voice so that our children can know that they were reasonable people, that we had sensible people once upon a time, even if it means I were not to win a single vote, let's say my four dogs decide not to vote for me, then at least I would know I have said my say. Can I ask you, when you say you want to redirect things, what's so bad about Nelson Mandela Bay right now? Nelson Mandela is broken, broken by African National Congress over a period of 27 years and accelerated that destruction by the DA in the last five years. Of that five years, as you know, they got two and a half years and the ANC grabbed the other two and a half years. And uh, now the DA, uh, you know, started up the ANC left and just went on an accelerated destruction of everything. And uh, there are no systems, there are no management that is clear how the, uh, anything is managed properly. You just see the mayor taking pictures at uh, uh, burst pipes and uh, fixing drains and putting on all kinds of things. And uh, that's not, as you know, the role of a mayor. The mayor must just run a simple, straightforward, a formalized and systematic management systems that everyone adheres to instead of running around, you know, for uh, this kind of uh, playing to the gallery. The, the administration is broken here. There is uh, absolutely no order. And as a result, that is why you see that uh, most of the things are not being fixed here. Uh, people work at night or over the weekend, you'll see many of the municipality workers and trucks are up in the road, and you don't understand what's going on. And because contractors seem to be being employed, uh, you know, arbitrarily. And this whole thing is a cause of the terrible chaos that is going to happen here. And I felt like I must come in and bring what I have learned in business as far as running systems and management of uh, these kinds of things. On top of that, I've got experience of uh, dealing politically with uh, political issues and people. And I, am, I can safely say I'm good at that and I can marshal people into action. And that action is to rebuild the metro. And I'm back by AIM's 10 point plan. We seek to really get things right making sure first in the, in the just short space of uh, 12 months, we managed to select a good quality people, credible and capable people that are um, sort of like uh, helping each other, complementing each other in every respect. Something that you really need in an institution such as this one. So we are ready on day one, if the voters of Nelson Mandela Bay give us that mandate which we need so desperately. Let, me challenge, you, let me challenge you there. Business people like yourself 
always think that they have an answer in the political sphere. Uh, um, I remember that, you know, uh, Cope, uh, Ahan came along, Dr. Mampele Rampele, who's been very successful in the private sector as well, said pretty much the same thing, you know, we can do this, we can do this. But it ends up being a flash in the pan, one. And secondly, it's not necessarily true, as we've learned from, say, Donald Trump, that business people can do better in the political sphere. Can, is that? Yeah. Look, first of all, I will say that uh, uh, Dr. Mampele is our hero and our leader, and I don't think she was brought in into that on the basis of uh, uh, of her business skill. <laughs> she doesn't fit that. She doesn't fit that. She came because she she's a, a political figure. She was a, a great leader, as you know. And uh, the issue about uh, a business person. Yes, I agree that it doesn't follow. The thing is about the character of the individual. These elections really hinges on the character of the people that will lead the metro, not only here but everywhere. So South Africans must move now from just uh, choosing people because you like them or, or, or for or some kind of celebrity status. People have to be elected now on the basis that of their character, number one and their track record. My track record, I mean, you can check it. I excel from day one in my life when I had nothing. I raised myself to go and to reach Port Elizabeth to go to high school. I moved from there. I got involved in politics, as you know, right through up to the end until that liberation we're fighting for was attained. And I went to business. When that liberation was attained, I stepped aside and said, I don't want to be in a public office. I want to be a, 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 what you call a private individual. And Mr. I was Jack, successful let me ask you, that, that you're absolutely right about your hist history. Let me ask you this. One of the reasons that uh, Nelson Mandela Bay is so caught up in itself and so uh, destroyed is because there are so many parties that have contested and, and essentially you have this uh, hung, hung uh, council where the EFF moves and suddenly you collapse. Why didn't you join one of the bigger parties and say, let me unite these people and let's work together and build a new Nelson Mandela Bay? No, certainly I could have done that. Uh, I would have loved to do that. Uh, but unfortunately... Uh, these organizations are so structurally messed up that uh, it will be difficult. The DA have just uh, uh, regressed and moved backwards to the right and competing in the space of the, uh, of the uh, uh, Afri Forum, whatever, no, sorry, Freedom Front Plus. And uh, the ANC, as you know, is embroiled in uh, corruption. And, uh, and of course, the EFF, of course, I mean, they are angry and they are they are giving out uh, 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 promises that cannot be done. Uh, they are meaning good, but unfortunately, because of uh, experience, I think they talk about things that are practically not possible. So I couldn't be caught in that. I had to move in in a pragmatic way with a plan to build the metro, to get it right. And I think the people are listening to our message. And uh, you will see how the people in Nelson Mandela have been caught up into the euphoria of trying really to work this thing of getting the metro back working. And I am ready to drive that. And I am ready to govern the metro properly on day one, set up systems, make sure that there is no interference in the administration by politicians, and make sure that the professionals and, and, and staff are people who are employed to do the job that they employed for and paid for. There will be no such things as... Uh, interference and so that the workers are even scared to go to work. They, it will be a good place to work so that like in any other country where you, you're going to be proud for working for the municipality. Krista Jack, one last question. <laughs> would you go into coalition with the ANC or the DA if you were to win these elections? Well, that's not my wish at all. I hope that the people of Nelson Mandela, because we are coming really with a sensible plan, and they know that I can execute, the, I execute what I bring forward. If they just believe us and give us that mandate, then we are not caught into this kind of a, a thing to have to do bedroom deals with people. Sometimes we wouldn't love to be with them. But all of that hinges on the hands of the voter tomorrow. 
Krista, Jack, thanks so much for your time. Good luck with, uh, with tomorrow and uh, building those uh, bridges in uh, Nelson Mandela Bay. Thank you. Join us after the break for our comment of the day.